Until next time, American yeah. Mailbox. Until yeah. next time. It's going to rain today. Welcome back to the channel. Good morning. Hi. It's Sunday morning and we left South Dakota yesterday and we're heading to the Great Salt Lake State Park to see, see the, the kids. baby. And <laughs> finally, we're so excited. But uh, we're here in Rollins, Wyoming. We actually came south uh, to the 90. We uh, stopped in. I thought it was the 80. Or the 80. Yeah, the 80. I'm sorry. And so. Um, we stopped and looked at a, a truck, which we'll talk about later, maybe in another episode. But um, today we're stopped here at the TA truck stop. We're gonna use our TSD EFS fuel card and we're gonna fuel up here at the truck lanes. It's $1.84 or something like that wow. with the card. So um, I'll put some information below if you guys are interested in getting this fuel card. It's super simple. And uh, we get a, a little bit of a commission from them for referring you guys. So we appreciate your support. Um, so look in the description of the video below for some information around that and how to contact them to get your own card No credit or any of that needed. So it's really cool and uh, the discounts are amazing on diesel The pump prices here at TA are 240 246 for credit and I'm paying a dollar 85 for it today. So Yeah, so I'm gonna jump out fuel up and we're gonna we're about three. I don't know. What are we 300 miles from Salt Lake or something? I don't know. I'm but, not sure. I haven't looked. Um, yeah, and then Maggie gonna have to Maggie, go do her say business. Hello. Say hello to your Great Dane boyfriends out there. <laughs> All her fans. <laughs> Hi, beautiful. Get Maggie potty. Whoo, she doesn't like that. And then practicing. Oh, yeah. Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. The diesel fuel will probably kill all the germs, but. Yeah, but I'm trying to be. It smells good. We're doing our thing to stay safe. Maggie. Hey, Say Maggie. Hello. Let's go find a spot for Maggie. Go potty. so pretty. Wow, it's actually kind of pretty. It's not as flat as I thought it was. Oh my gosh, yeah, the dust not hit that rock. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, Look at those. Come on. 
that scenery. So fluffy. I like clouds. Where are they at? There they are. Go stretch your legs, Maggie. Do your thing. You girls ready? Yes. <laughs> I think so. You ready, Maggie? She spies a doggy or something. Bur oh, seagulls? Are those seagulls? <laughs> seagulls? They're kind of inland. Yeah, they're eating garbage out of the parking lot. Well, they're a long way from the ocean. Look at the tractor. Or Yeah, train. that's an armored vehicle, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm there's a term to... there's a term for it. I just can't remember. I'm sure there's a subscriber who knows what that is. If you guys know what that vehicle's called, put it in the comments. That's cool. Yeah, it's a personal, some kind of personal thing. I'm not sure, I can't remember. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Salt Lake. Tomorrow's Memorial Day. It's a three-day weekend. Remember to thank a vet and remember those that gave the ultimate sacrifice for our freedoms. I almost forgot. You guys probably haven't maybe you have seen the solar install videos on the DRV not sure if they're gonna come out before or after this video but anyway I just wanted to, to, um, to talk a little bit about the up, an update on the batteries um, we stopped last night it got down in the low 40s so we ran the furnace this was kind of our first boondocking test and um, we sat and watched TV till I don't know, nine o'clock. Um, so, you know, we went to bed and the batteries were like 92%, I think, or something like that. They were 100% when we got there. And we got up this morning, they were at 86. I also left that one light on in the bathroom for the cat all night. Oh yeah, the LED light strip underneath the foot of the vanity, we left that on all night for a night light. And we got up this morning and the batteries were like 86. The furnace kicked off and on all night because it was cold. And we had the slides in because um, we were at a rest area. We stayed plenty warm. Um, I had the thermostat set on, I think it was 66, and it was plenty warm. We've been on the road for, I don't know, maybe an hour, hour and a half, and the batteries are back up to 90 already, and we're getting about um, 14, 1500 watts out of the panels, and it was cloudy. Now the sun's out, so they're probably already charged. Just wanted to give that a little bit of update. Really pleased with how the system's working. Uh, super pleased with the way they're performing and, and how well they're um, they're recharging, how fast they're recharging. So anyway, enough rambling for me. You got anything? Um, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Just enjoying right. the blue, beautiful fluffy clouds and counting the cows as we go by. Yeah, there's plenty of cows. I guess that's what about what Wyoming is known for is cows. So. The beef industry um, is with us yesterday I was trying to find out what Wyoming is known for. I like to look up those tidbits when we're traveling to see what's so what you know, find to learn that they grow sugar beets, they have wheat and barley, but the main thing is the beef. Beef cattle, yeah. Yeah. So we're not short on beef, so <laughs> well yeah and there's a lot of cows here. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful out here. It's uh, 47 degrees, a little chilly, but um, it's big, big sky, kind of like Montana. I mean, it's as far as you can see. Maggie's taking her, her second nap of the day, 
and uh, getting ready to play with that baby when we get there. She's excited. All right, well, we made it to the Great Salt Lake State Park. Um, we've been having a blast with the grandbaby <laughs> and our and our daughter and son-in-law. Um, stick around to the end of this video. We got the baby laughing, and it is hilarious. You've got to check it out. It's at the end of this video, so yeah. stick around. Um, we're camped here. We got the patio out. You can see our view. Looks like the ocean today. It's pretty amazing. But uh, I don't know if you can tell or not, but down there, there's like a dark spot in the water. The little pass I got. Um, and it's some kind of shipwreck um, that got exposed when the water level went down. So we're gonna we're gonna walk down there and check it out. So mm -hmm. we'll show you guys that. But, um, but yeah, we finally made it. It's a far cry from South Dakota. It's been in the 80s here. I think yesterday was or the day before was the hottest. It was 97. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been warm. But that's not Arizona. No, and there's a nice, today there's a nice cool breeze off the water, so mm -hmm. it's kind of nice, but um, we're going to have to figure out some kind of awning or umbrella situation for this back patio, because the sun, we're not just not used to it, yeah, I guess, and get a little sunburn. A, <laughs> a pool umbrella, umbrella. take down, just lay yeah. in the garage. Yeah, if you guys have a toy hauler with the back deck and you've come up with a solution, leave comments below, let yeah. us know. Uh, we like, we'd like to hear your tips um, mm -hmm. for that, for shade. But uh, Especially for Maggie, because she sunburns really easy <laughs> yeah, on her nose <laughs> yeah but uh well we're gonna head down we're gonna go check out the shipwreck we'll take you guys down there and yeah. then um we'll see what happens I'm going to guess when this happened, the water must have been really high because it seems like it seems like they could have towed the boat off the sand here. I don't know, though. I don't know how long ago it happened, but I don't even know what kind of boat it was. Stay here, Maggie. That's kind of cool. That's the shipwreck. I guess it's a big thing around here. Um, once it was exposed, everybody started flocking. The news crew's been here. And all that fun stuff so apparently it's uh, part of the, the area history here so that's cool it's a big shipwreck see <laughs> yeah it looks a lot bigger than it does clear back from the RV you can see the flags way up there and there's the visitor center there's a mine over there one of these days I want to go tour that mine. Yeah, you can tour the day. It's uh, not open right now because of COVID and all that crap that's going on. But And there's an old resort that used to be hot back in the 20s, 30s, back in the heyday, I think. Maybe the late 1800s. There's nothing now. It's like a concert venue or something now. So the red tent? Yeah. That is the brine shrimp. Oh, brine shrimp. That's part of the stink, Yeah. I think. Yeah. The water doesn't stink though, and it doesn't stink down here by the water. It's just back here in the marshy area where all the stuff is dead. rot is happening. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Thanks for following along. Thanks for riding along with us from South Dakota to the Great Salt Lake State Park again. And uh, we've been having a blast, like I said, with that grandbaby. And uh, I'm going to put a clip up here at the end and show him uh, laughing. Yeah. Soaking up every bit. He's so happy. <laughs> yeah. He's a happy boy. He's a happy baby, and he's so awesome. I mean, we're his grandparents, so we're a little bit um, biased. biased, but that's okay. He's still ours, and we, we love him. kind of like the kids, too, but that baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll take the baby anytime. <laughs> All right. Well, this is it for this video. Thanks again. We really appreciate it. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. 
Hopefully there was some value here for you. I hope you enjoyed following along. And uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe. And ring that bell. Yeah, we'd love to have you. And you can get notifications when we upload new videos. So um, there's plenty more to come. We've got a lot of cool things in the works um, that we can't really talk about right now. But they're coming. And yeah. you guys are going to hopefully enjoy it. Anyway, until next time. Safe travels. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>